Asalam Mualaikum. I am Dr. Andy Locko from the Veterinary Channel. The topic for today is the diagnosis of canine diabetes insipidus. After watching this video, we expect our veterinary students to review the following terms. Desmopressin, water deprivation test, primary polydipsy, central diabetes insipidus, and nephrogenic diabetes insipidus. We also recommend our students get familiar with diabetes mellitus and the pathophysiology of diabetes insipidus. Diabetes insipidus is a hormonal condition characterized by the inability of the kidneys to concentrate urine. Diabetes insipidus is different from diabetes mellitus. Mellitus refers to the sweetness of the urine in sugar diabetes, whereas insipidus refers to the watery condition of the urine in diabetes insipidus. Antidiuretic hormone is the hormone in question, ADH. This hormone is released from a brain location and operates on the kidney to regulate the amount of water excreted in the urine. When the body requires water, ADH levels rise, and the kidney retains the water and prevents it from being passed through the urine. Conversely, ADH levels decrease when the body has excess water, and the kidney permits surplus water to pass into the urine. The sickness manifests itself in two distinct forms. Central diabetes insipidus, a condition in which the brain does not create enough ADH. Nephrogenic diabetes insipidus, the kidneys cannot respond to the hormone ADH despite the brain releasing sufficient amounts. Numerous tests are available to identify diabetes insipidus. Three of the most prevalent are as follows. First, the modified water deprivation test assesses the kidney's ability to concentrate urine when the dog is denied water. When antidiuretic hormone ADH is supplied directly to the dog, the vasopressin ADH test determines the kidney's ability to concentrate urine. Plasma osmolality. This value indicates the amount of water in the blood. The tests can generally be understood as follows. Modified water deprivation test. Primary polydipsy or psychogenic thirst can be diagnosed if a dog can concentrate urine while dehydrated. This is a psychological issue. Dogs with this condition are compelled to drink water and excessively, even when they are not thirsty. The kidneys excrete a significant amount of water in the urine, resulting in dilute urine and excessive urination. This is a relatively uncommon condition. Vasopressin test. If a dog cannot concentrate urine when dehydrated, but can concentrate urine when given ADH, central diabetes insipidus can be diagnosed. The brain produces insufficient ADH hormone in this situation. Without ADH, the kidneys lose a significant amount of water through the urine, and the pet must consume an excessive amount of water to compensate. If a dog cannot concentrate urine when water is withheld, or when ADH is administered. Nephrogenic diabetes insipidus is the most likely diagnosis. This is because the brain produces adequate amounts of the hormone in this situation, but the kidney cannot respond. As a result, significant amounts of water are lost in the urine, and the pet must consume an excessive amount of water to compensate. Plasma osmolality. A dog suffering from primary polydipsy psychogenic thirst will typically have a low plasma osmolality due to the amount of water consumed. A dog with diabetes insipidus will have a high plasma osmolality. Think of it as thick blood. Because in the absence of ADH, the kidneys would lose vast amounts of water, leaving the body dehydrated. It is critical to remember that the plasma osmolality test is subject to fluctuation. As a result, it is more effective as a screening test than a conclusive diagnostic for diabetes insipidus. Please remember that the best way to help us in our mission of training veterinarians in underdeveloped countries is by pushing the like button and subscribing to our channel.